Emergency hatch, just pushing up, showing that it's functioning. Grabbing all my handles, everything's properly mounted. All my seat backs, everything's properly mounted and secure. My passenger pull cable functioning properly, as you heard the bell go off. Rear door passenger mirror is properly mounted, secure, it's clean, it's not broken. Handles, door handles, properly mounted, secure. My door is clean, it's not broken, there's no illegal stickers. The weather seal is not cracked or dry rotted. In case of emergency, I would break this glass, pull the lever, it should release air to the doors. On this bus, there is six emergency windows. They're marked with the red handles. Again, just continuing to the front. All my handles, checking every single one, just to show them that everything's secure. We have two wheelchair seating areas. They use a seven point tie down system. If you'd like me to demonstrate, I can. Usually they'll say no. Every bus is equipped with two tire chocks, garbage can. You have an internal destination sign. It's properly mounted and secure, functioning. No signs of moisture. Bus number 1725. Sticker stating no smoking, eating, drinking, or loud radio playing on the bus. Continuing to the front. Not to get up a close and personal, can you see it? Sorry. It's sorry. You got another air release in case of emergency. Break the glass, pull the lever, release the air to the front doors. Behind my driver's seat, on the top, you have what I call a glove compartment. It has all the paperwork in case of an accident. Insurance, registration. Underneath that, you have a first aid kit, which is properly mounted. You have a fire extinguisher is properly rated and properly charged and properly mounted. You have three emergency triangles properly mounted. You're going to sit in your seat. You're just going to read everything you see on the dish. So starting from the back left, you got a fire suppression system. You have a retarder. This little box here is for your security cameras. You got your door release valve, you got your speaker controls, you got your transmission key, you got your parking brake, you got your door handle, you got your ignition turn on and off, you got your bus start, you got your fast idle switch, your four way flashers, you got an engine override, you got a chime reset button, you got an interior light switch, you got your transmission drive neutral reverse mode with up and down gear. You got your driver booster fan switch, you got your dimmer switch, which will control the lights on the side of the panels. You got your washers, pushing in to show the wiper fluid. You got your climate control for passengers. You got your climate control and your defroster for the driver area. You got your front threshold heater, which controls the heater right behind the front door. You got your auxiliary fan switches with the two fans on the dash, which help the defroster. You got an engine test button. You got a pedal forward and reverse switch, which moves the accelerator and the brake pedal. You got your kneeling switch. You got your ramp on and off switch, and you got your ramp deploy and stow switch. You have your air pressure gauge. You have your speedometer. You have your um, oil pressure gauge, your water pressure gauge, and your battery pressure gauge. Veil system, fair box, fair box controls. You have a two-way radio to talk to dispatch. On the top, you have a two-way radio. You have a microphone to speak to the passengers. You have another fire suppression box. You have your head sign code box. You have your battery, your driver lamp on and off. You have your exterior light test, and you have your booster fans, sun visors. Passenger mirror, rear door mirror, my horn works, my seatbelt is not cut, it's not frayed, and all buses should be equipped with a seatbelt cutter. Then you would start your air brake testing. 